This is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'll show you how to make the mashed potatoes that you saw in my last video. They are so easy and delicious. They are perfect for any day of the week. But they are also great with any fancy meals. So I hope you give them a try. Remember you will find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to place the potatoes in a saucepan with plenty of water and we're going to cook them until they are very tender. Before I place them into the water, I poke each potato with a knife. This will help them cook faster. So poke each potato with a knife and then place them into a saucepan with plenty of water and cook them on high heat for about 20 minutes or until they are tender. In the meantime, in a large skillet, we're going to cook the bacon. I cut the bacon into small pieces and now I'm just going to cook the bacon until it's golden brown and crisp on all sides. I'm going to cook it on medium low heat for about 5 minutes or so. Once the bacon is ready, now transfer it to drain on paper towels and set it aside until you're ready to use it. Over here I have the potatoes, as you can see I already drained them and as you can see they are overcooked, that is perfect. This way they will be easier to mash. I'm going to use a spoon or a fork to mash them a little bit and I'm going to add in the butter. I cut the butter into small cubes and I'm just going to try to mash the potatoes with the butter. And as you incorporate them together, the butter is going to be melting into the potatoes. After that, also add in the cream cheese. Stir together to combine and then add in the heavy cream. Just continue to stir until everything is well incorporated. Then also add in about a quarter of a cup of milk. Then season this with garlic powder, the onion powder, crushed red pepper to taste, salt and black pepper to taste. Stir once again until everything is well combined and if you think the mashed potatoes are kind of dry or thick, feel free to add in the rest of the milk or just add as much milk as you think is necessary. Now taste the flavor, add more salt and pepper if needed and once you're happy with the flavor now we're going to add in half of the cheese stir to combine then we're going to also add in half the bacon and half the green onions stir once again until everything is well incorporated you can taste the flavor again, add more salt and pepper if needed and then once you're happy with the flavor we're going to pour the mashed potatoes into a baking dish the baking dish is already greased with plenty of butter. So once the mashed potatoes are in the baking dish, now garnish them with the rest of the cheese, the rest of the green onions and the rest of the bacon. Now bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes or until the cheese has melted and the mashed potatoes are heated through. Now you can serve them, they go great with any dish that you like, they are perfect for any day of the week or any special occasion. I hope you like them, enjoy! To print these and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog, the link is going to be down below. And remember you also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, I'm everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!